This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today we're going to talk about how to get rid of a bone bruise. If you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe. So a bone bruise, meaning that you didn't break your bone, but your bone got damaged. Um, you usually can see it on an MRI in the sense you'll see a bunch of fluid inside the bone or fluid light up uh, showing the bone was bruised, but again, not broken. So a lot of people will get these and they've got pain, it's not broken. The question is, how do you get rid of these bone bruises, which can sometimes last a long time? And there's not really any way to speed that up. I wish there were. Um, bones take a certain amount of time to heal. That's why when you break something, it's not like you can heal any faster. Normally it takes two to three months to heal and kids a little bit faster. But a bone bruise is sort of the same way. Uh, the bone hasn't been broken, but it's been damaged. And it can take on the order of months sometimes for it to really go away. That being said, there are some things you can do to make, sure, make it so it doesn't hurt as much. Um, one of them is you can get an oral, uh, sorry, a, a to uh, over-the-counter topical uh, anti-inflammatory such as Voltaren gel. It used to be prescription, it's not anymore in the United States. And you can rub that on the, where the bone bruise is and that might help with your pain. Another thing you can do is do desensitization therapy where if there's a certain spot that hurts, you can kind of rub it back and forth with the hopes of desensitizing the skin over that area. Um, a bone bruise isn't something that you want to not walk on. You really should walk on it and kind of continue living your life with it. But again, they can be really annoying and take a while to heal. Um, it's hard to check the progress of them. Uh, X-rays aren't really going to show it. CT scan is not going to show it. The only way is for an MRI. But getting repeat on MRIs for someone with a bone bruise isn't really a super practical thing to do. Um, I will say that special cases, bone bruises in your fingers are like a joint contusion. Those can last sometimes for up to a year. Uh, your joint may be swollen for a while, your finger may be swollen. You really want to keep those moving because if you stop moving your fingers, they get stiff and it will cause you problems. Um, so I hope I was able to answer your questions about how to get rid of a bone bruise. Um, if you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond. And uh, if you like this video, we put out new content weekly. Again, so please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.